dear brother, sister, and friends, peace to you all. Thank you for the opportunity for me to share and to encourage you and myself. As we go through this pandemic and shelter in place, people are greatly impacted from far and near. For example, I have a friend's brother that died from COVID-19 in New York. I have a high schooler at home and her favorite thing going to school is seeing her friend and hanging out with them. But because of shelter in place, she had to do distant learning. I wanted to get a haircut last week and I, I couldn't go to the barber shop, so I decided to cut my own hair. It's harder than I thought. And work is definitely busier than normal. I also thought about the graduating class of 2020. Four years of high school or college, you have been waiting to graduate and to celebrate, but now it has been postponed. I cannot imagine how you guys feeling. I had to be honest with you all. Recently, I started feeling anxious, worry, and fear. Not sure when this will end. During this period of time, what are you thinking? And what is your perspective? Apostle Paul encouraged us in Philippians chapter 4, verses 8 to 9. He said, Finally, brother and sister, whatever is truth, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such thing. Whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, put it into practice, and the God of peace will be with you. You know what? When Apostle Paul was writing this, he was not on a beach vacation or drinking boba. Instead, he was in chain. He was in jail because of the gospel. He also gone through some of his tough times. But God was with him. God also inspired him to write down this word to encourage the people in Philippi during their hardest time and now encourage us today. He said, finally, brother, sister, Whatever is truth, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such thing. Think about such thing. It is a gift that we are able to think today. So use it wisely. These are the virtues that God wants us to grow in and cultivate in. By focusing on God's word, it helps us to keep a clear mind, definitely a clear mind, and a right mindset to grow in spiritually, continuously. It also gives us a right perspective toward life when we are going through some tough time. We know that we will get through this pandemic, and we know that you will be closer to God and become a stronger person. But if you are not yet a Jesus follower, I invite you to pray out to God because He is merciful to understand your need. He is also gracious to save you from your sin, to give you a new life. There we have it, brother and sister and friends. At last, here's the invitation. Put it into practice. The promise is and God's peace will be with you. Amen. Amen. Thank you.